actually, I don't have time to read books nowadays anymore. This, all this I read a long time ago, before the COVID. I told you before, yeah? Yes. That is a time when I had a lot, a lot of time. Not a lot of time, I read a lot, because I didn't have to do computer stuff. <laughs> I wrote very fast. When I wrote, I wrote very fast. So I just uh, wrote my comments or my corrections, and then you did everything else, yeah? I mean, you type it and send it away. Thus, I have more time than now. The computer is really makes me very busy, but uh, it's good like that also. There, there's pro and cons for everything, yeah? Yes. Like this, I'm more independent. I can go anywhere, anytime. So it is also good, but it's bad in many ways because I don't know what else to do with many things. Many things I cannot do alone. My computer like this, I don't know how yet. I don't have time to even learn, so your brother took care from remote. And this is a wonderful time. I feel like we're almost like in the lower heaven. Yes, we have like washing machine, wash my clothes in no time. We have even the, the machine that dispenses boiling water yeah. instantly, and even ice water, icy water instantly. You know, right? Yes. Yes. You have them, right? Yes. Uh huh, uh huh. Mm. The other day I hurt my foot, oh. my toe. Oh. <sighs> I was thinking of someone who is sick and feeling sympathetic. Immediately something fell on my toe out of nowhere, and no reason almost. I didn't see any reason. It just fell from <laughs> from the shell. And then I hurt my toe so much, I screamed so loud. Oh. And then, because of this machine, the ice water machine, yes. Yes. I immediately soaked my... I remember that, you know, if you, you bruise or something, you just soak yourself, soak it in the ice water. Mm. Yes. Oh, and the water is limitless, you know. I just keep changing. When it's warm, I change it, and when I change it, I keep soaking it for a while, and then, and then, it it doesn't show the bruise, and then it it doesn't hurt. Mm. After a while, you know, it's almost like nothing happened, and I was so happy. I think I I was thinking I'm in in heaven already. <laughs> I have washing machine, which is a smaller heaven, and this machine which dispenses boiling water and ice water. Oh, I'm thinking I'm in heaven. I never knew this thing before. I didn't know it existed. Some your brother told me that you you guys have them, yeah. Yes, mm. yes, yes. But I didn't know that. I, I thought it's very big. It's for the public. It must be for many tens of people, not for me alone. It's too wasteful. But they have smaller version. They didn't tell me mm. uh, before. I used to have to boil water. Take long time, and sometimes. I forgot, uh, and the water is uh, all gone. <laughs> it keeps boiling, you know. You cannot keep moving and having everything with you, uh, even water boilers. So I boil in the pan, and sometimes I forgot the time. I forgot I keep doing something else, or SMTV, and I forgot, and then the water boils off. And, uh, you know, it's kind of not very safe. Yeah. So now I even have this everywhere I, I move. I make sure they have it for something. Yeah, but mostly they have it already nowadays. I hope so. Yeah, and then I feel like, wow, what convenience, you know? I keep thanking heaven for all the comfort. Yeah. I did not know I have, I could have this until the dogs moved in some other area. And uh, your sister used to live there before. She has one, uh, water dispenser like that, and she didn't use it anymore because she's gone. And then they wanted to put it somewhere. I said, oh, give it to me. I didn't know that such thing exists. Huh? I didn't know for individual machine exists. So I said, I give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I know, it's just a few months ago I knew about that. I didn't know that before. I kept boiling water all the time, whenever I need it. And now it feels like heaven, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I ask them to install it here and there, wherever I might be. And then I feel like, wow, what a comfortable life. You don't have to wait for a long time. And because if I don't have a, uh, like a refrigerator, and the refrigerator will make ice cream. Mm, yeah. yes. But even ice cream won't last as long as this kind of water. The machine, it comes out all the time, mm. you know? Yes, yes. You don't even have to fill in water or fill in a tray or anything. 
oh, I feel so fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but why do I tell you this stuff? One moment. Ah, yeah, I have to look into the camera, not into you, because then later nobody will see me. <laughs> All right, so continue, huh? Mm. I don't know why I told you this story about the water, huh? Ah, one of the angels. Uh, water, element. water element. Yeah, water element, but it wasn't that. Mm. I just said because we need, eh? we need water, yeah? And we need the wind also. Okay, so never mind. Whatever I said it, I forgot it. The humans, they are feeble and fickle because I use the earth, you know, soil to create them. And soil is a lesser quality than fire. Mm. Less pure than fire. Of course, fire, you can see, it comes, it goes, yeah? Mm. And it could even destroy the whole earth. Mm. Oh, so powerful. But earth, it, nothing happened, nothing. It cannot do anything to anybody except just to grow things, <laughs> to help to sustain uh, life on earth, yeah? But I wonder why it should be called lesser quality, less pure. We need fire also, but I think earth is very noble, no? Hmm? Yes, yes. Yeah, very useful and very helpful, yeah? Yes. Mm. yeah? Never mind, this God's opinion, and he's God. We cannot argue with him, right? <laughs> we cannot <laughs> argue with God, whatever he, he thought, or whatever he deemed, a pure or not pure, a qualitative or not, that uh, we, we, we just have to uh, accept it as is. So we continue with our story, huh? So... In here it says, Earth is a substance that is, uh, it even doesn't say lesser quality. It's a very inferior element compared to fire. If I had created you both with the soil, with Earth, then you would also be the uh, same with them, nothing better than the humans. So now the two angels say to God, uh, even so, we would like to, if it were them, they would uh, treat the humans differently, not the way God treated the humans. That's what they meant. Then God said to them, Ha, huh, eh, it's easy for you to say, mm, suppose I test you eh, by letting you stay together with the humans for 100 years. If you both could uh, withstand all the temptations, I will definitely uh, do as you requested, meaning destroy the humans. Whew. Meaning, uh, up to that time, I will destroy humans. I will uh, kill them all. But if you both, day by day, gradually become just like them. Then I will hang you up on top of uh, the mountain. Its name means Darkness Mountain, you know, Darkness Mountain that exists in between heaven and earth. That's what he said, okay? If the, if the two angels become contaminated <laughs> like humans, then he will uh, hang them up on that mountain top. Uh, the Creator, God Almighty. No, I not Almighty. They didn't say Mighty. Holy God. Uh, okay. The Creator, Holy God, then acted according to what He has just spoken. Dispatched these two angels down to to earth. After a period of time living together with the humans, both of them <laughs> had forgotten everything that they had ever known before. Aww. And then they <laughs> they could not withstand all the um, temptations, all the pleasures, all the sensations in uh, the physical world. More and more, they desired 
possessions, uh, properties, uh, uh, good stuff <laughs> to eat, and wine and women, beautiful women. They live more vigorously, more zealously than the humans. They live their life more to the full, <laughs> more uh, with our strength. Even uh, they exceeded humans in sinful activities. At the end, both of them had children and then also uh, raised them up to make uh, a very, very strong, stronger generation and more cunning, more vicious than other generations of humans. So God has seen all <laughs> that He already foresaw. He had known this before, so He has seen all this. And then, moment. Oh, it was hot and now it is cold. <laughs> the room is very small, very, very small. So everything is very intense. <laughs> If you put a fan or something on cold, it will be cold very fast and very, very cold. If you put some heater or something on, it will heat up very fast and very, very hot, <laughs> very quick. It's a good thing, so I don't have to sleep. I just have to stay awake and turn on, turn off, turn <laughs> on, turn off. <laughs> I remember I told you I live in a big uh, escape in Spain, yeah? Yes. And it was winter, and it's, uh, the bucket uh, of water outside my cave, just outside of the roof of the cave, that's it. And then it becomes the whole chunk of ice, the whole bucket of ice. I mean, not just the top, but the whole, like a big stone oh. <laughs> bucket shape of ice <laughs> inside the cave, inside my tent. I need to put an oil heater, yeah, very cheap. But every now and then I have to keep <laughs> bringing it out and back in and out often, yeah, because it gets hot so quick. And you cannot control more than that. You, even you put the heater at the lowest level already, it's still too hot. Yeah, but the cave is all open. Mm. They're protruding out at the, the roof from the mountain, and the water or the rain keeps digging, eating the, the earth, and on top of that is a hard, hard stone. So it's still digging like a big, a big hole, but there's no, only maybe wall on both sides, but not in the front. And the front is very, very long, you know, like 10 meters long. Even then, inside the cave is warmer, <laughs> then outside of just the roof, I put things outside the roof, just outside a little bit, and it became ice like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why do I tell you that? You know my calendar, but what is it? Huh? Ah, because of the warm heat. <laughs> yes. And now feel cold. Okay. 